Hello, this is Samadan. Samadan is on a journey to make gold. Last time, we leveled through Red Ridge Mountains all the way to level 31. In this episode, we are going to head to a new area and see what kind of adventures we can find along the way. Here we are with 504 gold to our name. Not bad going for level 31 and 6.5 and hours played. Let's go see if we can improve on that and check the mail. My favourite part of the day. Holy moly, 894 gold. That's a nice bunch of sales there. Looking really nice. A good mix of herbs and ore. Good quantities of silver, leaf and copper all helps. Briarthorn and Earthroot are good prices for the quantity too. Okay, let's collect up this lot and head to the auction house. A quick post scan and list the expires back on and we're ready for the next step. If you've been following the news in the gold making community, you will have heard a lot of talk about the new feature for Shadowlands, Relics of the Past. I recently talked about it myself and I'm very excited for the low level material market. I wonder if there's something we can do here now that we have a small amount of gold. I made the pace bin of a load of things to look out for, so what I'll do is import it in here and see if I can find something nice and affordable. I'll use the new import group button that's now part of the group management tab. If I copy in my pace bin, and here we have a new group, potential relics. My old cloth group is no longer needed now because all the cloth has gone into a new group. Here we have a load of items split into cloth, leather and ore. We might be able to flip and sell for hire. Looking at this, the ore group could do with some expansion. I have a feeling all of these markets are going to change rapidly, so I need to put these copper, silver and tin ore into the new group. If this relics and item level thing continues, I bet there'll be some cheap weapons that come out of this. Now instead of dragging the ore into potential relics, I'm going to make the relics ore a child of my other ore, and then I can scoop up the copper, silver and tin from the parent items, and then I can drop the potential relics ore back into its group and delete my original ore. A bit of group maintenance is always a good idea when things are changing. Right, all that done, so let's go shopping. I just want to look at the relic market right now, so I'll deselect everything else and then just select my relics group and run a shopping scan. Wow, loads of stuff. We need to change the order to cheapest first, because I really don't have a lot of gold to be able to buy out any markets here. There is a ton of this netherweave cloth, I'll never be able to buy all that out. Let's have a look at the linen cloth. Linen cloth itself is only used for a relic level 1, but there's a good chance it will be used for base items that have a relic put on them like brown linen pants, so these could potentially spike in price in the future. There's quite a few here below the market price for this server. 23, 24 and 25 silver. It's going to cost me 1,500 gold to buy them all out. I don't have quite enough. It's also risky because that will wipe out my entire gold reserves. There's not really enough quantity for me to buy just the 23 and 24 silver ones. I really want to go somewhere in the middle here and buy out a decent amount. 4,000 would cost just under 1,000 gold. It's tempting, but that won't leave you with much. 3,000 is about half of my gold, so I'd feel a bit more comfortable speculating on that. Ah, TSM's failed to buy the auction. Probably because I was spending too much time looking at the prices and it could do with a refresh. You know what, for simplicity's sake, I'll do this in the regular auction house. Ah, you can see here that more have come on for cheaper, that's why the TSM buy operation failed. I could have fixed that with a rescan, but as I'm here now I might as well just buy them up. There we go. It's a risk. I don't have a huge amount of gold, but I have a feeling markets will fluctuate quite a bit over the next few weeks. I'm going to pick these up now and relist some of them back on at a higher price, and see what happens. There's probably too much volatility in the market for me to make a group right now, so I can either use TSM or the WoW interface to post these on manually. It doesn't matter which one I use. Let's use the WoW interface and look at the prices. Okay, so I'm guessing that someone with more money might come along and buy all of these up, so I'm going to list them here at the one gold mark. Let's save some just in case they go higher, and we'll test this out with a thousand. If they sell at this price, I'll have made my money back and still have 2,000 linen cloth to sell later. Phew, that's done. I'm a bit nervous, it's my first real flip, but we'll see what happens. Right, what's next? I want to go somewhere different this time. We have the hero's call to Duskwood here, and it's the next natural choice. There's a good amount of herbs and ore around that we might get some good sales on, but I'm feeling adventurous. Let's go somewhere different. Wetlands could be nice this time of year. There's some interesting herbs and ore, but it's a bit swampy for me. What else have we got? Stranglethorn Vale, nice again. But we've just had a heat wave, and I don't fancy going to the jungle right now. I've done Red Ridge. Ah, a Rathi Highlands. This looks promising. There's Mithril Ore here. That's used in a Relic Level 4. Sounds like it could be fun here. 
a nice bit of mountains to quest in. This quest in the middle is a starting quest, so we'll probably need to head there first. Okay, so how do we get there? Looks like it might be quite the adventure. First, I'm going to abandon this quest in Duskwood. As much as it pains me to do this, I can always pick up the main quest if ever I adventure here. This is more of a suggestion quest than anything else. Sorry, Duskwood. Another time, perhaps. Okay, how to get there? I'll go look at my flight points and see if there's anything to get me closer. No, not really. It all takes me east. I can go up to Ironforge easily enough through the tram, or get the boat to Menethil. From there I can walk up north. Let's do Ironforge, and then I can pick herbs along the way. Right, first thing is to get to the underground tram from Stormwind to Ironforge. We need to go to the Dwarven District, and then we can hop on. Oh, it's here! Quick, run for it! There's so much to explore in WoW, even though I've done a lot of this before, it's nice to experience it with a fresh character with no access to flight points. In Ironforge there's an heirloom vendor that will sell me flight points, but that's going to cost 10,000 gold, so that's way out of my price range. What I'll do is go along and pick up my flight points along the route, so I can always come back later. Ironforge is quite a nice base because you have an auction house and everything you need right at the entrance. Ah, the great outdoors. We can do a loop down here, pick up the flight point and then head east into Loch Modan. Hopefully we'll get a few starter herbs and ore here too, because these have been selling really well so far. Ah, here's some. Good old shadow meld. Right, we're doing well. Into the next zone, Loch Modan. We can pick up a flight point here. It looks like Azeroth Autopilot wants me to quest here, but I've got other adventures in mind, so I'm going to ignore that. Now looking at the map, we need to head north into wetlands. Okay, onwards, fair traveller. Oh, that's a nice mount. Oh, and don't forget to look at signposts along the way. Stop you getting lost. Right, down we go into the land of swamps. The joys of travel form mean I can swim as well as breathe underwater. It's so handy. Oh, look, an elven outpost. Hello, brethren. Don't mind me. I'm just picking up a flight path. Here we go, the entrance to Arathi. I need to head north to the middle. This Zidomi person would normally let me change to a different version of Arathi, but I'm too low level, and anyway I want this version for the quest, so it works for me. Now we have this flight point, we have a number of options for getting around the Eastern Kingdoms. They connect up with the lower ones too, even though I don't have the connecting flight paths. Lots of quests to pick up and get started. No Azeroth autopilot here, it still wants me to go to Duskwood. We can do this easily without though. There's a number of choices now taking me to different areas. I'll do the Northhold Manor first and work my way around. That was easy enough. What I'll do is I'll loop down the top bridge here to see if I can find any gold along the way. No gold, but we got some iron. Next lot is all down here to the southwest. Let's do those. Stealth is so useful for helping me get to just the right places. I know I need to fight these at some point, but I'll pick my targets later on. Now this looks tricky. We don't want another wolf incident here, so I'll clear the way carefully. Come on, mages. We don't want you too near your powerful friends. Ah, it looks like we've got two of these together. Okay, a bit of healing. Ah, oh, we have a friend. Thank you, friend. Sorry, I can't hang around. I've got quests to finish. Okay, not here. Must be further down. There you are. Okay, all done here. We can head down to the beach for some quests. Ah, I messed up this quest. I forgot to escort the professor. Okay, I'll come back and do that one later. In the meantime, we can make good use of our sealed travel form and do all these underwater quests. Now back on dry land, we can do that escort quest. Poor professor, I'm so sorry I left you the first time. Ah, now I realise I should have done that first. Then I could have done all the underwater ones at the same time. My fault for leaving the poor professor. Back into the water we go. Right, with all that done, I'm going to head back to base, and we ding 34, and our first 100 quests completed. Nice. There's not much around here, no mailbox or anything, so I'm going to rest in this tent for the night. Good morning. Did you have a nice rest? It's the next day for me, and I decided after sleeping on it that I was going to relocate to Ironforge. If I'm flying back and forth between sessions here, I want a base that's a bit closer. I'm not sure how long this will take me, and getting this set up now will be a good idea. I could start using a bank halt, but I don't even have a mailbox here, so that won't work. Speaking of mail, 
I've got someone waiting for me and I really want to see if that linen cloth sold. So I'll fly back now, set my hearthstone there and then I can do my auction house bits and pieces before heading off again. Here we are back in Ironforge and more mail to open. Look at that! The linen cloth sold, amazing! That's 1000 gold to add to what I already have and I still have a load of linen left. Now we have 1,500 gold and a decent amount of stock. Let's head to the auction house and take a look at options. With the auction house open we can shift right click the linen in my bags and it will do a shopping scan straight away. There's another bunch here at 60 silver. You can see that the price in general has shifted higher. People are starting to speculate. I worked out one of the break even points with this and rune cloth is 5 gold per cloth if the whole relics thing goes through as it is. I have a feeling there's still wiggle room here, but I don't want to risk everything. It's still important to take little steps at this stage. It's tempting to buy out the linen at 60 silver. I'll have a look at the rest of the list first, see if there are any bargains. Okay, we have Tempest Hide here at 1 gold 70 silver. That's like rune cloth, but you need 7 of Tempest, not like 5 of rune cloth. 1 gold 90 seems to be the price jump there. That has potential. Looking at rune cloth, that's at 2 gold. Seems better value perhaps, and then maybe jump that to 4 gold. Deep Sea Satin is another one, that seems really cheap. There's a lot of it too. That would be a good one to make into bags in the future once less people farm Deep Sea Satin. But I don't have nearly enough gold to speculate in that. Sumptuous Fur is another one, I can make a few hex weed bags from this in the future. There's a lot of it spread over the 1 gold mark, so I'm not in a position to reset this one. Interesting, interesting, there's so many options here. I think at this stage I'm going to do some smaller steps. I don't have a huge amount of gold. Let's look at the cheap stuff. Wool cloth has some really low prices. I think many people are looking at relics and not the things you can make that use the relics. So wool and linen have potential to spike in price once this settles. The market spread is huge here with a lot of cheap ones and it will cost me 119 gold which seems much much safer. I'll buy these. I could go another step and buy these at 1 gold, but looking at the region value I think I might be overextending at this stage. Well, let's leave it for now. So that leaves us with linen. I know now from experience I've sold some at 1 gold, so maybe I can repeat that again. It will cost me more than the wool flip, but a good chunk of that is at 60 silver, so I think it's probably worth the risk if I can sell it at 1 gold. Ok, let's pick up our purchases and see how much we have now. That's a nice bit of stock there ready to sell. I'm going to tidy up my bags a little bit and add the new TSM groups into Addy bags. We also have a few things to add to our groups. We picked up some new ore, I'll add that to my ore list. I won't be selling it just now, I need to learn the markets a bit better with these. The tangy clam meat can go into the mist goods. I think I'll put the stones in there too, as I already have some in this group. This leaves me with parts of herbs. I think I'm better off waiting on these until I can combine them into a single herb. So what I'll do is I'll make a new group, call it Herb Parts, and put those in there. Ok, organising done, we can post up the little bits and pieces. Ah, the Herb Parts has the default posting group aside, you can see it being posted here. I'd better remove that so I don't accidentally sell those. Right, ok, now we're ready to relist again. There's a lot of things below min price here. I'm not sure how well this lot will sell. I'll pop it on for now and see what happens. All we are left with now is our cloth goodies. I use the standard interface for this just to do it manually as we have a good idea of prices already. Let's look at the wool cloth first. Our average buy price is 27 silver. We could either put it on for 1 gold or 2 gold. I'm going to go for the 1 gold here just because I have a feeling it's not in as much demand yet so I'd rather turn a small profit now and use that again later. Now the linen is similar in many ways but I think this is being considered more at the moment than the wool at this point certainly by other players. People may well stock up on this so I'm going to put in 2000 and see what happens. The silk looks like it's at a good price right now already so I'll give that a go and post that on. I'll leave the rest. I need to look into options for these. We have 8,000 gold on the auction house now, and over 1,000 gold still in our pockets. Now that's what I call a pretty nice gold making session. We had some good sales, we were lucky to buy some linen cloth cheap and sell it for more. I completely forgot to try a vendor scan, next time perhaps. Our slash plate is 9 hours now, 
and we are level 34. So I hope you enjoyed this video. One day we'll be dressed in fancy clothes like this dapper gnome here. Until next time, happy cold making, and I'll see you very soon.